Hi there, Lindy Goodall here with Lindy G Embroidery. In this video, I'll show you how to unzip a downloaded file, or actually any file. When you download embroidery designs from most websites, they're zipped. Zipping compresses the file, so it makes it faster to send, it protects it from getting corrupted, and it prevents the browser from opening it into a window of gibberish. Some browsers will automatically unzip the file for you, but let's see what to do if yours doesn't. So I've downloaded my two files and they're just sitting here on the desktop. This is Windows 10, although it says Windows 8 up here. I'm working in parallels on my Mac. And I have two files that I've downloaded from our website. One says LGS46 PES and the other one says LGS04705 VP3. So when I set up the files on our website, you'll always know what formatted it is because I'll tell you that in the name of the file. Also, because this one has fewer characters in it, this is a collection, and if we hover over it, you can see all the files that are in it, as opposed to this one. If I hover over that one, we can only see one file. I get a lot of questions from people who don't seem to know how to unzip or try to open this in, seems to be Acrobat, but to unzip a folder, we're just going to right-click on it and do Open With. Now, I happen to have an unzip or a winzip program on here. If you don't have one, you, you will have Windows Explorer because it comes on your PC. So we'll just choose that and it's opened the zip file. Now if I look in here I see one folder. If I open that up I'll see all the files that are in the collection. So I could just unzip one of them but probably what I want to do is unzip all of them. So all I have to do is left click on this, drag it out to the desktop, and there it is. Now it's unzipped. Now you can send it to your embroidery machine, you can open it up in your software, and if we look at the files, we can see that there they are. And I have thumbnailer on here, so that's why you can see an icon preview of the design, but now I can do whatever it is that I want to do with a regular embroidery file. Your embroidery machine cannot sew a zip file it has to sew a stitch file. Now let's look at this other one. If I right click on that, choose, well we don't want to use WinZip, let's choose Open With Windows Explorer. I just have one file in there and I can just drag that out to the desktop just like I did with the folder, close that, and there's that file. So that's just how easy it is to do. It's a good idea to keep your zip files in case you know one of your files gets damaged or you open this file and you make some changes to it and accidentally save over your original then you'll have these kind of preserved they don't take up a lot of space and boardy files are pretty small so you can store them on your computer and they won't take up a lot of excess space so that's all there is to unzipping it's easy and once you know how to do it you won't have any problems at all thanks for watching